Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this particular video, we will be going to see RAG implementation with memory using Langchi. So, before diving into the code, let me show you the flow, how it works. Now, let's see how it flow. First, user will be going to select the or you can say upload the PDF. Once the PDF is uploaded, then using uh, Python PDF uh, package, we will be going to extract the relevant context from that PDF. And in the next step, we will be going to split or you can say make the chunks of that particular data. We will get the chunks of that particular data and with this particular chunks we will be going to do the embeddings then once we are able to get the embeddings the next step is to store this embeddings into our FAS vector database okay then once our embeddings are stored in our vector database next whenever the user will be going to ask some question just for example user asked what are transforms so before giving and getting the data from the db first what we need to do we will need to convert this particular data into embeddings once the embeddings of the questions is ready this will be going to given to this particular vector database now here in this particular step what will be going to happen is nothing but using the similarity search we will be going to get the context get the relevant context related to this particular question which are present in this database then once we are able to retrieve the context, in the next step, what we will be going to do, we will add the uh, retrieved context, add the user question, and also add the user history. So we will combine this. Actually, we will be going to make the prompt. Okay. We will be going to create the prompt where we will have this three information and then we will give it to our LLM. So basically in our case, we are using group LLM. Okay. And we will be going to use Llama 3 model. Once our Llama or you can say LLM get this particular prompt based on that particular prompt, context and history. Finally, we will be able to get the result. So this is the whole flow what we will be going to building this particular video okay if you want a detailed explanation of this particular flow you can check out my medium blog where uh, i have explained each and every step uh, clearly whose link you will be get it in the description now before going to our code let me show you how our ui looks okay so this is our ui this is our ui where I have explained little bit about our application, what are the package used, and this is the main thing. As I said, user will be going to upload any PDF. Okay. So just for example, we are uploading a Transformers PDF. You can upload anything as per your requirement. Uh, once we click on upload, it will go in the backend and it will upload the data and vectors will be generated. How I said the flow, right? That will be going to happen. In case you want other multiple PDFs to be uploaded, simply click on this plus icon. You can choose as many as you want and click on the upload PDF button. Now, let me ask some question and see whether we are able to get the result regarding the transformers or not. Okay, so I have asked what are transformers. So based on the model what we have used, it will be going to be the answer to us. So let me see here we are getting the details related to the transforms. Now what I will do, I will ask what are its components. Okay, 
now if you see uh, here i am not asking or telling anything related to transformers okay if i ask this particular question automatically as in our previous question we are asking about transformer so we will be going to add that history to our context or you can say prompt and give it to our llm and llm is uh, that much powerful uh, by using that history it automatically understand uh, we are asking about the transformer component and it will be going to generate our result it is not related to that also uh, uh, whatever uh, things you are going to chat in the chat bot it will be going to remember all the history and based upon the query it will be going to answer now if you see here in this particular question i have asked what are its components so simply if you see the, the transformer architecture components we are able to get the answer this all uh, responses you can handle with the help of prompt which i will show you in the code now as we see the chatbot let's dive into our code so now let's see what all things we have in our uh, uh, code structure first we have a templates upload here we will be going to store our pdfs then we have vectors vectors here we will be going to store our uh, context or you can see vector db we will be going to store our vectors in this particular folder as in our case we are using pass okay then this is our environment files a virtual environment files okay then this is related to our environment files as i told we will be going to use group and for embeddings we will be going to use hugging face okay for embeddings we will be going to use hugging face then we have our html page this is our ui code then finally this is our main code main python code fine this requirement file will contain all the packages which you need to install okay all the all this particular code you will get it in the description uh, in my github okay so let's now discuss about the code one by one uh first we will be going to uh import uh, fast api components okay as a, as we will be building a fast api fast apis to integrate it with our chat ui then for validation we will use pydantic and typing dict okay then uh, for loading our environment we use this load.env then we have the main thing that is line chain which uh, which uh, gives us the feasibility of chains memory prompts and vectors okay whatever things we have understood in our uh, chloride all things we will be going to use with a powerful framework that is line chain once this imports are done uh, we have few more imports also here we have for data processing as i told we will be going to use pass okay pdf loader is nothing but this will be going to uh, used for getting the information from the pdf this is for splitting our data then chat group is our llm then um, uh, hugging phase and embeddings are nothing but to convert our chunks into embeddings okay chunks into embeddings then then the next step what we need to do is nothing but we need to load our keys okay so as we are using hugging face embedding so for that we have to find the hf token okay so this token you will get it in from the hugging face okay log into the hugging face uh, dot com then from there in profile you will get this particular thing the next thing what we are going to do is we are initializing the fast api object using that we will be going to create uh, create our application or you can say api then uh, we are adding this particular cross middleware uh, cross middleware for uh, uh, not restricting in the ui 
section once that particular thing is done we are going to load our llm that is chat group here also we will be going to first add our an api key then we use the llama 3 model okay you can use any model as per your requirement once that particular thing is done as i mentioned for converting the context or you can say text into embedding we make use of the hugging face embedding this all things are open source you can make use of it okay if suppose you have a gpu system simply use gpu here once this particular things are done next for memory and cache so as i told we will be making use of memory in this particular thing the thing what you need to understand here is we are going to get two particular store keys that is session store and vector store cache here what we are going to do is we are creating one function where our chat history session will be going to be created we are using slang chain chat history message history uh, package which will be going to help us to okay whenever any users context or users input will come that particular things will be stored in this particular uh, thing where we are in the u from ui only we are setting the session id so for using that session id we will be going to store multiple users record okay then once that particular thing is done as we understood with the flow let's see that particular thing one by one first we have some ui thing right so chatbot ui.html will have the ui which i showed you previously the next thing is nothing but user will upload then we do the splitting embedding and we will store it to the vector db so this is this particular load pdf api do that particular thing okay so first of all what happens whatever file is going to be uploaded that will be stored in this particular upload file okay and uh, uh, in the ui only we are setting one session id directly manually okay if you want you can do that dynamically too okay once our file is going to be added what we are doing we are creating two particular folders which i explained you here to storing the pdf and our vectors once that particular thing is done uh, next thing what we are doing we are getting the data from using by pdf loader then we are splitting our data and finally we are storing it into the uh as vector database and also applying the embedding into that particular thing once that particular thing is done using the session id we are setting that particular data into vector space once this step is done what will happen we will able to get this uh, this is the particular session which we are creating in the back uh, front end and this particular files are nothing but your vectors okay once thing is done the next thing is the chat endpoint so in the chat uh, from the user we are getting one prompt prompt is nothing but the input the next thing is the session id okay within which session that particular user is working then once that particular thing is done the main thing which you need to understand is our chat endpoint so chat endpoint as i told this is the input which will come from the user okay so user this is nothing but the input like hi we are going to say that hi will be get it here we get it here okay once that particular thing is done what we are going to do is we will be going to first load our uh, database then using the session id we are going to get our vector stores okay once that vector store is done we will be going to set our retriever okay now as i told you now as i told you we will be going to have some prompts right so here if you see first in the prompt what we are doing if suppose any question okay we want to uh, change or you can say formulate that particular query the, for that this particular prompt is written here then uh, uh, what we are doing we are getting the history like for history aware stuffs right we are going to uh, we are going uh, we are doing this particular stuff okay once that particular thing as i told you we have one prompt okay we have one prompt here if you see this prompt you can edit as per your requirement then we are giving context context is nothing but what we are getting from the vector db and finally 
we are giving the chat history okay we are giving the chat history to our model so we, this particular prompt is created now what we will be going to do is nothing but this particular thing we will be going to give it to our final model okay so if you see we are giving input we are giving chat history and we are giving answer key okay along with the history session and all those stuff we will be going to give it and finally what we will do we will run this particular flow so this will going to run and give us the give give us the response okay so this is the whole thing which you need to understand for implementing the react thing this is the very simple and easy explanation to it i hope you understand this particular video okay uh, if you have any other queries related to react please do comment in the comment section and kindly like and like share subscribe and make sure to hit the bell icon so that you will never miss a update for my latest video thank you for watching